All right, so we have had the material in ice water with a layer of ice over the top of it for 30 minutes, probably closer to an hour because we got into some crazy flat earth discussion. <laughs> and now I'm checking the material and we were basically just letting it sit here to make sure that it's saturated and squishy so it was brittle and hard frozen before and we want that ice water to have gotten through um, and make sure to grab uh, nugs that are really like your biggest ones so we can make sure that it's nice and soft and it is awesome okay so now we're gonna start washing Yo. and we've switched to wood I have off. switched to wood uh, and hey, it might be a little shorter. It is a little easier. Yay. I'm glad you noticed that. Okay, so we're starting out just gently pushing down. You remember. I remember. I'll throw the screens in the collection bag. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll explain the screens. Yeah, I'm going to explain the screens, and you can look at this one for that if you want. Okay. So, most hash bag sets that you get come with eight bags which is a lot of bags, honestly. I only run four bags. I run a 250, a 160, a 73, and a 45. Uh, those are basically, to me, those are all the ones that you want. Anything other than that, unneeded, or basically stuff that I would never use, so I don't even collect it. Uh, okay, tell me again, what did you say the microns were? Okay, so the work bag is a 250. Okay. Okay, then to basically catch anything that's a little bit smaller than 250, but bigger than a trike head, I have a 160 micron here okay. that catches any particular contaminants, uh, stalks and heads that haven't fallen off correctly or whatever. And then... And then from there is 73, and basically everything from 73 to 159 is going to be used for raw. Well, anything from 45 to 159 can be used for rosin, but I like to use the 45 to 72 for cards or play around and make jams. I don't know, just okay. to each his own on that. Play with it then? Yeah, play with it. That's why they give you the eight bag set to see where you're catching at and this and that. But I've kind of done this so many times that I know where I'm going to catch at. So that's why I use the bag set. So I'm going back and forth. I've kind of just patted it all down. I feel like. How's your water level? Feel nice and kind of soupy, like floating in there? Yeah. Okay. And I'm doing this really gently, you guys. This is like the key, not being too strong and agitating it too much. So I wrote an article on the correlation between nitrogen, chlorophyll, and the green flavor that can sometimes be imparted into bubble hash. And a lot of the times this is because over agitation contaminates the hash with chlorophyll. So if you've ever, um, you know, had some green hash that tasted like hay, that's probably why. Mm -hmm. So if you want to read that article, it's available exclusively on my Patreon, members only, and we have classes, opportunities for giveaways, and How's the bucket going? So you're putting these, the smallest size on first, or the so, largest size on first? Well, I probably should have done the smallest first. I went largest, but basically I should have went smallest because the smallest needs to go in there first. Okay. But not a big deal. Not a big thing on the SOP to be worried about. Uh, I'm just making sure, okay, so there's these little tabs that show you what the, uh, the micron screen size is. 
just making sure when you stick them in the bucket and fold it out that they basically are showing. That tells you you got the bag right side in and not outside. Uh, inside out. So how long am I doing this for? 20 minutes? 30 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. And that's approximate stoner time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ish. I like the wood in. Paddle. I feel I, like I'm like rowing a canoe. I like it better too. And I feel like it's not like as damaging for the um, bags. Yes. And then you're not getting like microplastics into your. Yeah, all, all that. Everything that you just said. Yeah, I found that on Amazon. I was like, ooh, 36 inch wooden paddle. I was like, getting it. Yeah. You can't find them like with the hard wood like that, the type that you need. You know what I mean? It, well, at least I couldn't for a while. And I found that one. I'm like, yeah. Okay, so you got the bigger micron, which was what did you say, 170? I'm I'm already forgetting okay. everything. <laughs> no, so I got the 45 down in there 45 first. 45 down in there first. So okay. those are gonna catch your smallest heads. Uh, and then. You're going to go to 73. 73, not 173. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're close. Okay, that one goes inside. 45. And uh, we only have our 160. I feel like a witch. Yeah. <laughs> like a cauldron. Yeah. Okay, 45, 73, 160. Yeah. So 160 is capturing contaminants. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm 73 up. is capturing heads. And, and so we're trying to separate the stock from the head and really just collect the heads, but some stocks get in there, right? And the stocks are where we can get more of the chlorophyll contamination. Yeah, so the stock, well, Yes, so the stocks will be in there, but then uh, we're going to run up through the filter bags, and then that's what the clean water comes in for, too, because you're going to rinse the hatch. You're going to rinse all the stocks and anything else that's in there right out the bottom. All right, so we are... Now, we're about 10, 15 minutes in. We're getting a little soupier. Uh, there's little ice chunks forming, and that's from on the bud for sure. So what I'm telling her to do now is to, we're going to create a little more agitation. We want to try to create a vortex. So we're going to stick the paddle a little deeper in and you're going to just basically go in a big circle and try to get the whole biomass moving, you know what I mean, in one direction. Okay. And once you have the whole biomass moving in one direction, then you want to switch, switch direction and go the other way. The bag's kind of like coming up. It's hard. I know. So once you start going the other way, the bag will start, the bag will go back down. And the other thing you can do is here, I'll show you. You can take the edge of this and kind of push the bag down. Um, you know what I mean? Like four okay, quarters, just yep. gently. Something like that. And yeah. It's just because there's a little air pocket in there. And... Okay, yeah, that works. works. Get you a little workout on. Yeah, seriously. I have to take my coat off. <laughs> You're cold. I know, I was cold. Warm you right up.